हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एल एन टी एजुकेशन सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्ट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस रेलवे जोन ऑफ इंडिया इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड मेजर पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया सो दीज आर सम फैक्ट्स सम डाटा दैट आई गिवेन and uh, these are very very important for your upcoming examinations okay uh, these are very very important for your ssc examination very very important for your uh, banking very very important for your uh, state service state public service examination okay so these facts uh, facts are very very important uh, because sometimes uh, sometimes Two three questions may come in your examinations. Okay, uh, so let's start the video. Let's uh, start the lecture. Uh, before starting the lecture, I would like to request you all, please subscribe my channel, support us, encourage us, so that we will give good type of content to you that will benefit for your examinations. Okay, uh, apart from these examination point of view. these are also the static gk persons okay these, these are also the static gk persons uh, that will help for the uh, college students also for the high school students okay uh, whenever they are participating in events then it may be help for their uh, competition also okay so these are the facts these are very very important facts that everybody should understand everybody should uh, memorize all the data okay because um in our day to day life that the, the, these are very very important facts uh, let us start let us start the topic okay first railway zones of india so uh, i have done there are five sorry there are four uh, columns are there in first column i have written the name second column the abbreviation and the third column that is date of establishment and on fourth column i bring in the headquarters let's discuss one by one first central central railway for so central railway the abbreviation is cr and it is established in 1951 and it is headquarter is mumbai okay number 2 East Central Railway, East Central Railway, E C R, E for East, C for Central, R for Railway. Its abbreviation, and it was established in 2002, and its headquarter is Hajipur. Its Hajipur, I think, is Bihar. Okay. Number three, East Coast, East Coast Railway. So E C O R, E for East, C O for Coast, R for Railway. That is established in the year 2003 and its headquarters is in Bhubaneswar. Okay, guys. Other uh, Eastern Railway. Okay, E R Eastern Railway that is established in 1952 or that is in its headquarters is in Kolkata. Ah, uh, uh, these two are very very important because East Coast Railway and East uh, Eastern Railway is very very important because. Uh, we belong to this bhubaneswar okay we belong to the state of odisha that is bhubaneswar uh, then uh, north central railway okay ncr ncr north central railway that was established in 2003 and its headquarter is allahabad this is in allahabad okay then north eastern railway ner north eastern railway that is established in 1952 and its headquarter is Gorakhpur, both are UP. Okay, Allahabad and Gorakhpur is in UP. Ah, uh, then ah uh, Northwestern, Northwestern NWR, Northwestern Railway that is established in 2002 and its uh, headquarter is in Jaipur. Okay, Jaipur, that is Rajasthan. Then ah uh, okay, Northeast Frontier, Northeast Frontier Railway. NFR, okay, North East Frontier. The 19 Esther 19 that was established in 1958 and it is headquartered in Guwahati, Assam. Okay, then Northern Railway, NR, uh, that is established in 1952 and it is headquartered in Delhi. 
then south central scr south cr means central railway that is established in 1966 and it is headquartered in sikandrabad okay that is hyderabad sikandrabad then south east central south east central secr south east central railway that is established in 2003 and its headquarter is bilaspur then south eastern railway ser south eastern railway that is established in 1955 and its headquarter is in kolkata then south western railway swr south western railway that is established in 2003 and its headquarter is in hubli hubli okay then southern railway sr that is established in 1951 and its headquarter is chennai tamil nadu west central railway wcr west central railway that is established in 2003 and its headquarter is in jabalpur western railway wr western railway that is uh, established in 1951 and its headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra then konkan railway kr konkan railway that is established in 1998 And its headquarters in Navi Mumbai. Navi Mumbai. So the main thing is, uh, you have to memorize, you have to understand. Uh, headquarters very very important, very very important headquarters and uh, their name. Okay, they are name. So both are important. Okay, abbreviation date of establishment that are not so important, but these two name of the railway. and the headquarter generally uh, coming up examinations okay you have to memorize uh, both the columns name and headquarter if you if you could able then you could uh, memorize or you can um, understood or you can memorize uh, abbreviation and uh, date of establishment also but that is not very very important these two are very very important name of the railway and their headquarter okay so how many there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There are seventeen railway zones of India that I have mentioned here, and I have also their abbreviation, their date of establishment, then their headquarters. Okay. Ah, uh, then, ah, uh, then come to the international airports. International airports of India. Ah, uh, there are seventeen international airports of India. You have mentioned their name, city, then states. Okay. In in which city they belong to, and uh, in which state also belongs to. Okay, uh, these are also very very important. Let's uh, discuss one by one. That are international airports of India. First, Amritsar International Airport. Amritsar International Airport is in city of Amritsar, and the state is you know that is Punjab. Okay, state is your Punjab. Then Indira Gandhi International Airport. Indira Gandhi International Airport. That is present in New Delhi, and you know New Delhi is a UT. Okay, it's an Union Territory. Then Lokpriya Gopinath Bardoli International Airport. Lokpriya Gopinath Bardoli International Airport that is in Guwahati in the state of Assam. Okay, so first, second, third is completed. Then Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel International Airport. Okay, Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel International Airport that is present in the city of Ahmedabad and Gujarat, state of Gujarat. Then, guys, two things are very very common. Okay, if Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel name will come, then definitely you go for the Gujarat. If Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose name will come, definitely you will go for the Kolkata, West Bengal. Okay, so these are very very important. If Chhatrapati Shivaji will come, then you will go for the Maharashtra because they are native places. Okay. Uh, next, the question. Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport that is present in Mumbai, the state of Maharashtra. Then Hyderabad Airport that is present in Hyderabad in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Then Goa Airport. Look here. Goa Airport that is Bhaskar Nagar. city the name name of the city is vasco da gama and state is goa then chennai international airport that is present in the city of chennai and the state is tamil nadu bengaluru international airport that is present in the city of bangalore and state of karnataka okay so these are the data these are the facts okay you have to memorize um, so uh, 
uh, I cannot explain, okay. Uh, that is a data and a fact. So, you have to memorize it, okay. Uh, then next, Cochin International Airport, that is present in Cochin, Kerala. Trivandaram International Airport is Trivandaram, Kerala. Okay, you know, Cochin and, and uh, Thirunanthapuram, Trivandam, what do you say? That is in Kerala. Guru Ramdas G International Airport, that is Amritsar, Punjab. Then Srinagar International Airport, that is in Jammu Kashmir. Jaipur International Airport, that is Rajasthan. Kujikud International Airport, Kalikat. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar International Airport is Maharashtra. Bharat Ratna Dr. B. R. Ambedkar International Airport, that is Maharashtra. Then Veer Savarkar International Airport, that is in Port Blair. Port Blair, that is your UT, okay? Union Territory. So these are the important international airports of India and uh, uh, where it is in which city they are situated and which state they belong, I have thoroughly discussed, okay? So it's your duty, uh, go through it and uh, uh, read again and again, ultimately that will memorize, okay? That will not uh, memorize in one day, two day, it will take time, okay? So you have to uh, continuously read it, you have, you have to continuously focus on it so that uh, the time will come, it will memorize. Okay, so guys, these are the very, very important facts, okay? So you have to memorize and you have to keep it in mind, okay? That will uh, definitely come in your examinations. Now, come to the last part of our lecture, that is major ports in India. So these are the names of the major ports, state belong to and in which sea they are, okay? Uh, so, Chennai, Cochin, Ennore, Jain, Tipi, Kandala, Kolkata, uh, then uh, Murugan, Mumbai, that is the busiest port ever. Then New Mangalore, Paradip, is our Odisha, then Tutikarn, then Visakhapatnam. Okay, so these are the prominent or major ports of India. And here the states they belong to and here the sea, in which sea they are built up. Okay. And then first to Chennai. You know Chennai that is in city of Tamil Nadu and it is in the Bay of Bengal. Cochin. Cochin the state of Kerala and it is in Arbyan Sea. Okay. Endo that is Tamil Nadu. It is Bay of Bengal. JNTP. JNTP that is Maharashtra. That is Arbyan Sea. Kandala, that is Gujarat, Arbyan Sea. Kolkata, yes, West Bengal, that is Bay of Bengal. Then Murbu Goa, Murbu Goa, that is in Goa, Arbyan Sea. Then Mumbai, Mumbai is the busiest port ever. Okay, that is in Maharashtra, that is in Arbyan Sea. New Mangalo, that is in Karnataka, that is in Arbyan Sea. Uh, these are Paradip, Odisha, you know, Bay of Bengal. Tutikarin, that is Tamil Nadu, it is Bay of Bengal. Bisaka Patdam, that is in Andhra Pradesh, it is also in Bay of Bengal. So these are the data and facts that I have given. Very, very important for your examinations. Okay. If any doubt, then you can comment us. And uh, uh, okay, you have to uh, thoroughly, uh, for, to fast to last, please look our video, look our lecture. Uh, if you found a difficulty, then you can comment us. So these are very, very important for you guys. I think um, that will no doubt for you. That's it for today. Jai Jagannath.